Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be using my brand new network tweaking tool to decrease your ping and stabilize it, as well as decrease your packet loss. But before we start the video, I wanna tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. Make sure to check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. We have over 2000 reviews on our Discord server and website combined. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So simply go into any of my videos descriptions. In here, you have downloaded tweaks and it will give you a Discord link and this will join you to my Discord server. Over here, navigate over to the free network tweaking utility category. And also before I download the utility, get this video to 2000 likes and get me to 22K subs and I'll drop a new version of my free tweaking utility, which is a similar thing to this one but it's more about FPS and lower latency. You can use both of them at the same time, by the way, don't worry. But yeah, simply press on the download button, visit website, and this will take you to a Google Drive. And as you can see, here you have the EXM free network tweaking utility and press on download. So right click on it, download, and it will show up in the top right corner anytime now. And simply just open it. As you can see, I have it opened here. You have the source code. So if you want to look through that, trust me, this is completely safe and a completely open source. So just minimize all of the background apps and just drag this onto your desktop. And now we're going to open it. So right click on it and press on run as administrator. And this will basically make it so the tool can apply all of the changes without any issues and then put it into full screen. And if you want to, you can read this, but I'm just gonna press any key and continue. And now it will open the restore point menu. And if you're wondering what a restore point is, this will basically allow you to completely revert all of the tweaks back to normal. So if you don't like the results, just go back. But yeah, simply press one followed by enter. As you can see, it's gonna make a restore point. All right, so it just made a restore point and then just press okay. And boom, it opened the menu. And as you can see, there's nine buttons for optimizations and some extra stuff like using restore point and reverts. But I just want to tell you guys, these are all tested and safe. These network tweaks are a part of my uh, premium tweaking utility, the network category. But I just wanted to tell you guys that this has been tested by thousands and thousands of people. So it is safe. But I'll simply just press the apply all button for the first six optimizations. Press A and enter. And yeah, that's all you have to do for the first six options. Now let's move on. The seventh option is going to be optimizing NIC adapter settings. And I just want to warn you, if you're on Wi-Fi, skip this step since this only works on people who are on ethernet. But yeah, just press seven and enter and boom. It will show this little pop-up, just press okay. In here, press Y and boom. It will optimize your network adapter settings. All right, so it just finished. And that's everything for the seventh option. After that, we have set QS policy. It will basically allow you to prioritize a single program or a game by your router. And that will help you a lot with packet loss and ping, especially if multiple people use your network. But yeah, you're gonna have to do all of these uh, options. So press one and enter, then two and enter. This will just start some services which are needed for you to open GP edit and then press three. And if this doesn't open or if it shows some error, just press number four and restart your PC after. That will allow you to uh, download GP edit and run it. But yeah, I'm just gonna press three and simply under here, you can put it into full screen, go into user configuration, go into Windows settings, expand. And as you can see here, you have policy-based QoS. Simply right click on policy-based QoS, create new policy. In here, you can name the policy whatever, but I'm just gonna name it Fortnite since that's what I'm gonna be prioritizing. But you can name it whatever, it doesn't matter at all. Then I'm gonna set the DCCP value to 46 and press next. All right, so now we're gonna select uh, the executable name of the app that we want to prioritize. This can be any app or any game, but I'm gonna use Fortnite as an example. So go to your search bar and search up task manager and uh, right click on this and press go to details and as you can see you have fortnite windows 64 client shipping and the way you copy this is you just go to open file location and then you right click on it press the rename button press ctrl a and copy the whole thing boom sorry if that was kind of complicated but yeah i'm gonna paste it in and press next this you can just skip don't really change anything here press next and lastly set this to tcp and udp uh, leave these settings alone and press finish. 
boom, you have it set up. That's all you have to do. And now you can just simply exit out and close it. And the last thing that we have is gonna be optimizing NIC settings. I kind of have the text wrong in the app. It should say NIC, I'm gonna change that, I'm sorry. But simply press nine followed by enter. It will open this little menu. And as you can see here, I have ethernet and Wi-Fi. For some of you, you will probably only have Wi-Fi here. Then you're gonna want to skip uh, in the timestamps below into the Wi-Fi section. But yeah, simply double click on ethernet, go to properties. And as you can see, you have internet protocol TCP IPv4. In here, press advanced and then navigate over to the WINS section. And in here, you have net BIOS setting. Make sure this is disabled. And yeah, it should say disable net BIOS over TCP IP. Select that and press OK. OK. And now go into configure. And in this little menu, simply uh, disable allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. This doesn't really uh, help your ping or do anything, but it's a good thing to disable for good measure. And in here, uh, the script that I used to optimize, which was number seven, your ethernet settings should have covered everything. But if you have uh, some sort of power saving feature, since every single adapter has different settings, then make sure to disable it. So I don't know if you have something like internet power savings or something and it's enabled per chance, then please disable it. But yeah. And now for the people who have Wi-Fi, simply just double click on this, go to properties, go to configure, advanced. And in here, I don't recommend uh, messing around with most of the settings, but as you can see, uh, if you see something like ARP offload, then disable it. Then uh, we have MIMO power saving mode, set this to no SMPS. Next, we have NS offload, which should be disabled. Packet coalescing, another thing which should be disabled. And roaming aggressiveness should be set to highest. And also disable any Wacon magic packet or Wacon pattern match or anything which just says Wacon, disable it please. But next, simply go into power management, uncheck this. I know this doesn't really do anything, but uh, I do it for good measure. After that, go back into properties and click on internet protocol version v4. Go into advanced, WYNS, and in here you can see NetBIOS setting. Change this to disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. And then you can just press OK on everything and close it. That's all you have to do. And if you're on Ethernet and you don't use Wi-Fi at all, I highly recommend disabling it. That's what I'm going to do personally. And after that, you can close it. And yeah, that's all of the tweaks. After that, you just have to simply restart your PC in order for everything to apply. And if you want to completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance, simply press C in the utility. And this will take you to my website, exmtweaks.com. And on this website, uh, you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. And as you can see, my premium utility has over 1,100 tweaks, and it includes basically everything that your PC needs to perform at its best. And my standard utility also has a lot of tweaks, and it's a really good budget alternative. So yeah, make sure to check out my website. Trust me, you will not regret it. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I want to thank you guys for 20,000 subs. And I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you guys. Trust me, every single like, every single subscriber. I'm really thankful for it. Every single customer, especially you guys changed my life. So yeah, uh, I love you so much. Have a great day.